Let's look at 13 mustache running backs for Dynasty Fantasy Football. These are running backs on the back end of rosters that you need to be storing just in case they get their opportunity. We got a lot of things happening this offseason. We have a stacked running back rookie class. We have a stacked running back for the agency class. Things are shifting at the running back position. So let's look at some of these young guys who are in position to possibly... Take a step up in the depth chart if things happen. If the attrition works its way. Maybe they're an insurance policy to a feature running back. Maybe they're just a play away from getting some added opportunities. But these are some stash plays we need to look at going into the 2023 season and moves to make for this offseason. So our first running back we're going to look at today is Khalil Herbert from the Chicago Bears. He's being drafted as the 32nd running back off the board. Even if the Bears draft another running back, he's still going to have a role. He signed with the team through 2024. He had one RB1 week last year, two RB2 weeks, and five double digit PPR fantasy performances. This guy can be productive. He's explosive, catches the ball the backfield. His price tag should get a little bit cheaper once we start factoring in these rookie running backs. And a lot of you guys are thinking, well, he's just a guy that's automatically rostered in Dynasty anyways. He's not really a true stash for me. I like to go a little bit deeper. Then look at his teammate, Treston Ebner, because he's a guy that you may want to stash. He was getting a lot of hype in preseason last year. Had a good training camp. Runs angry. Six-round pick with 4-4 four, four speed. Speed, more of a traditional stash in Dynasty. If you're looking at that, remember David Montgomery is going to be a free agent. We're already catching headlines where he's trying to get a bigger contract. We got to wait and see on all that. But to speculate, these are some options from the Bears that you can look at for stashes in Dynasty Fantasy Football. Wheeling over to the 49ers, we have some stashes as well. Elijah Mitchell, cheap running back right now. Running back 38 off the board. He does get some touches even with Christian McCaffrey in the fold. Especially with him being an insurance policy to Christian McCaffrey. If something happens to him, you will see an uptick in touches. That holds his value. He's very cheap right now. A guy you may want to look at. Very explosive, very productive in 2021. And if you're looking for a deeper stash, a guy that people aren't really rostering, or a guy to get with one of your last picks in your startup draft, look at Tyron Davis' price. RB71 off the board, so it's super cheap, pretty much free. Throw in on trades. Big back, who was drafted in the third round last year, has some upside, 90th percentile speed score, so another player to look at. And of course, Jordan Mason, a big 223-pound pounder who was productive in a few games, being drafted as the RB68 right now. Good training camp last year as well. Had some hype, but another guy just a stash at the end of your bench. Looking over at the Raiders, and we have another running back to look at. We've been talking about him a bit, but we don't know what Josh Jacobs is going to do. So Zamir White is a feature stash, a feature guy that you need the roster. Right now, he's being drafted as the RB50. Damn cheap. He is rostered in every dynasty league. I understand that, but he's a premier stash to have on the back end of your roster. Very little sunk cost right now. If he doesn't hit, if he doesn't fire, you can just ship him away. Send him the hell to the waiver wire. Remember, 96th percentile size adjusted speed score. Let him get another training camp under his belt. Let him get a little bit more opportunities. Let's see what he can do. But if you're looking for deeper stashes, let's look at the New England Patriots and we have Damon Harris entering free agency which is going to unload some of this depth chart and one guy you want to look at is Pierre Strong has 4-3 speed fourth round pick didn't get much opportunity this year because Ramondre Stevenson was balling out but he was a productive small schooler who was getting a lot of hype through the draft process a guy you need to look at and they have another running back you need to look at a lot of people who are subscribed to this channel Love him, and that's Kevin Harris. Sixth rounder, bigger back. He's a thumper, can be a three-down grinder. They drafted him late last year, but he had some run, got some opportunities. Maybe through the offseason, he can gain some more if he develops. The Cleveland Browns also have an interesting situation with Kareem Hunt 
hitting free agency. So Jerome Ford could get some extra opportunities. He was also a late round pick. The Browns only have two draft picks in the top 100. So the odds of them drafting another back with the ability to, to take over the RB2 role isn't that great. That could happen with this year's draft. But they are limited on picks this year. They have eight of them, but a lot of them aren't in the latter part of the draft. So that's something to note. Maybe they just want to roll with Nick Chubb, see what he can do, and let the other RBs do their thing. Maybe they pick up another guy. We'll have to wait and see. We're speculating here. We're just making up stories. But we got a fifth round running back here that was productive with the Cincinnati Bearcats with 84th percentile speed that we can look at as a dart throw and he's being drafted as the rv 77 in startup drafts rolling over to the tennessee titans and we got some insurance backs here just in case derrick henry falls off a cliff gets hurt or whatever happens these are just insurance pieces but one guy you want to look at is Hassan haskins former running back from michigan big power back who was productive there, being drafted as the RB67 off the board. Former fourth round selection, could get it done if something happens. Again, speculation, back in roster guy in Dynasty, but if something happens to Derrick Henry, we might see an uptick in touches if he can climb the depth chart. Remember, Dontrell Hilliard is expected to hit free agency. Don't expect him to be an expensive get, so they might just get him back because he was an efficient running back. But we just have to wait and see and speculate on these back of the roster guys. And if you want another back, look at Julius Chestnut. Big back from Sacred Heart University. Uber productive there. Small schooler. Getting a lot of hype from training camp last year. That could trickle into this year. So another guy you want to look at going into 2020. Three. And I have another 2022 rookie running back that I want to talk about as a stash play for you guys. He's from the Minnesota Vikings. And I'm talking about Ty Chandler. Right now, he's a UDFA in Dynasty. You can just scoop him up right now off waivers. According to ADP, might be different from you, but he's a former fifth round selection, has 4 3 speed, was getting a lot of hype last offseason in training camp. So something you want to look at, Alexander Madison is expected to be a free agent. Don't know if he's going to get re-signed. Probably not since there's a lot of options left out there. But since he's got that pop in his step, that burst, and he was regarded as a guy climbing the board in training camp, you may want to look at him as a stash option. Dirt, cheap, UDFA, and Dynasty. So just a pickup. According to ADP, could be different in your league. Got another running back that is interesting. A rookie from last year, big running back, catches the ball at backfield, and that's Keontae Ingram from the Arizona Cardinals. Right now, he's being drafted as the RB62. And the thing I like about him is you can use him in the passing game, you can use him between the tackles. His game was very volatile, but still, a stash play, that is cheap. He's a former sixth-round pick in the 2022 draft who had limited opportunities last year. We know James Conner, always good for a couple games, banged up so there could be some opportunities going forward plus he's not getting any younger so look at the back end of this depth chart but those are 13 mustache running backs that you can get in dynasty fantasy football right now they're all super cheap they're all young guys they're all guys that could end up in a good situation or bad situation a lot of running backs are going to get dealt with this year and it's going to flip on their head so really we're just looking at some cheap guys with some athleticism or in an offense that could open up for them if they play well and work their way up the depth chart. Let me know your stash plays in the comments below. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the way out, and I'll catch you on the next video.